first of all, we're getting the boring part out of the way, which is, of course, trying on jeans. Now, I hate buying jeans, they're so hard to find. But I've got two black pairs here, and I'm in, what shop am I in? Dublin's. So I'm really hoping one of them actually looks good. We will have to see. So we got bored quite quickly um, of Debenhams because there was nothing I needed so we headed straight to Primark. In Primark we went straight to makeup. Like I was desperate as much as I was to see Harry Potter stuff today, to see the nails and all the makeup stuff I needed. So here's a little pan for you because look how beautiful all the nails are. I love them so much. I'm trying to slow down for you guys because you have said that sometimes I pan a bit fast so I take on board all the comments and hopefully today it is a little bit slower for you and look at those jewel nails oh my god so I'm quickly adding stuff to my basket I've got two sets of nails here a unicorn cleaning pad which is probably pointless um, some sponges cleaning spray a lip kit it's probably racking up already look at the bottom of my basket now we're looking at some hogwarts hoodies this one is cute but a little bit plain i'm not sure how i feel about it but it's nice that it has the detailing on the side and then this john said to me buy it buy it buy it and i was like no i've just had jumpers for christmas no but it is a really cute little white design so here we have another Harry jumper. It's got the cartoon version on there. There isn't loads of Harry Potter clothing today, not much at all really. It's probably because it's just after Christmas, but soon enough they'll restock. So this one and the one I just showed you are the main two. They have got some sliver in tracksuit bottoms, which are nice and I know Sam would definitely appreciate these. And then we have a very fluffy black jumper with lots of little Harry Potter symbols. We now go down to homeware. Mary Poppins is like a massive thing at the moment because of the new movie but I head around that to find the last of the Harry Potter merch. There seems to be um, some baubles which are on offer unsurprisingly, a stocking, some cards and then we have kind of some Harry Potter stuff. I mean it's not as beautifully presented as it sometimes is. This Hagrid mug is massive and looks like the size mug that Hagrid would actually use. A little Harry light which is very nice. And I really like the cup you can just about see behind. Here it is, the Daily Profit. That's really nice. If I didn't already get a travel mug for Christmas, then I probably would have got that. But I like my new one that I got. It isn't Harry Potter though. And then I pick up this, which is something I've been looking for for literally so long. And it's got three different items for your bathroom to kit it out in Harry Potter style. <laughs> We then have this Marauder's Map candle, which is something I think we saw in my last vlog, so that's a really cute little tub. And then we have a couple of, are they photo frames? Money boxes. They all say limited edition, but they have been out a while, I believe. And then this gorgeous cushion, which I was so tempted with because it is so pretty and I love the throw that goes with it. Here are the cards that I buy that are down to just 50p. I mean, that is a bargain. And lots of phone cases. They don't do Harry Potter ones, but they do lots of different pretty ones. I like this one with all the cats and the moving glitter just makes me very happy. Below that, I mean, how impractical is that actually? Who would actually have that on their phone? Below that, we've got some more random designs and there's lots of Disney. We have some Gryffindor hats, which are in the men's section. Oh, I think I can see Ravenclaw next to it. I'm not sure if that's Ravenclaw or just the same colours. We then have all of the house backpacks other than... Oh, wait, no, just Gryffindor and Slytherin. I haven't actually seen the Hufflepuff one, and I would really, really like it. And then we have a little clutch bag, which is cute with Harry's glasses on it. I like the design of that. I don't really use clutches, but that is a nice little bag, which you could use for makeup as well. And this is something I really like. So it's an over the shoulder bag and it's got loads of little designs. You could stick pins on this as well. That would be amazing. That would give it a lot more color, but it's got quite a simplistic classic Hogwarts design. And then we have the more bold of the makeup bags, which has got the cartoon Harry on again. We then have this backpack. Now I posted this on my Instagram today and you guys seem to absolutely love it. I didn't buy it. A lot of people asked me just because I have quite a few Harry Potter backpacks now. But if I didn't have many, I would totally have got that because it is beautiful. And again, something you could add some pins or maybe crest patches to. That'd be cool. 
They didn't have much jewellery either, but they do have the really nice golden snitch headband, a Slytherin headband, and a few other little bits and bobs. Now I bought some of these bits for a giveaway because look how good they are. I mean one pound and they're absolutely beautiful. The only one they didn't have which was Gryffindor. That's a little bit disappointing but I bought something else Gryffindor related. So we've got something of all houses and then I go to the fitting rooms to try on. I love this shirt. I mean if that was a dress that would be even better. And this is a dress which yeah again looks really really nice and I can't wait to wear. Here are the Harry Potter pyjamas, there was a small selection, all kind of matching in colour, but I like the Alohomora one with the keys, and then we move on to a cute other number, which I can't remember, it's got Harry quote on it, and those look like very Christmassy Harry Potter leggings, which are reduced. Above that, we have got another Hogwarts top, owl slippers, which seem to have been a very popular Christmas present, and very soft leggings. Now these are silky pyjamas, which are really nice, and there is also a new set of Hedwig slippers, similar to the Hogwarts Castle ones, but they've got a little Hedwig on them. Now I had to pick up these pyjamas, because look how good they are, and they were down to £5. What a bargain, I had to pick these up for the new year. By this point, John is angry, he's very hungry, so he just wants to leave Primark, even though he encouraged me to vlog, and then he just flipped a bird at me, so how rude. I'm now just heading off to get the last few bits. I needed some jeans in River Islands and something else. And that's it then, we're heading home. So Potterpuffs, I'm back now. I did a lot of shopping and I found it incredibly difficult to vlog in Primark today because as you can imagine, it was such a busy day for the sales. It was absolutely crazy. John got really fed up and hangry by the end because we didn't eat until like quarter to four. It was a bit crazy, but I got this bag, this bag. So quite a lot of stuff. Not a lot of it is Harry Potter related. It's kind of more of a shopping vlog this time, but I will show you the bits I got, not in detail. This is kind of, as I say, it's a relaxed video. So it's just gonna be me holding up the items for you. I'm not gonna do close-ups or anything this time, but let me know if you want to see anything or hear more detail about a certain item in the comments and I can sort that out for you and tell you more about it if I know something. As I touched on earlier, I got a really cool palette for Christmas, which I will show in my what I got for Christmas video. I needed to get brushes to go with it because I have a few, but not enough. So I got a few makeup related items from Primark. A lot of people sing the praises of Primark's makeup stuff, so gave it a go. First up, I got the four pack of blender sponges, which are just really good for doing like the corners of your eyes. And mine's gone a bit skanky now, so whoa, to get another one is a good idea. I also got this beauty organizer. Now this was just two pounds. Two pounds is an absolute bargain. And it's got lots of different compartments. So I'm gonna put makeup brushes, lipsticks. Don't know what I'm gonna put in there, but I'll find stuff. So as you can see, I'm back into nails again. Sam got me these beautiful ones for Christmas. She did a vlog where we're opening Christmas presents. So you should go check that out if you haven't already. Um, but anyway, so I've got my gingerbread nails on and they are adorable. So with Primark nails, people often ask me, do I use the glue that comes in the box? No, I hadn't been previously, but this time I made sure my nails were completely clean. I hadn't worn any for a while and I stuck these on with the Primark glue in the box and held them down as I did it for quite a while. None of them have fallen off within a week. I've had them on all Christmas, haven't been particularly careful and none of them have come off. So just saying, amazing. And I got these new ones. So I got Nude Dream and they're metallic -y. We got Chic, which is again metallic -y. quite similar, but these ones are squared off. A bit reflective there. These were £2 and £1.50. I've never used one of these before, but it looked really cute. It's a unicorn and it's a unicorn sponge cleaner, uh, a cleaning pad for like your makeup brushes. Give that a go, because I really need to start cleaning mine a bit more. I got a tiny pack of eyeshadow brushes. Again, really reflected there, but they are all mainly the same size, but very, very small for the detail. 
and then I got a jewel ended one which is quite good because it's got a bigger side smaller sides so that should be nice and handy and that was I think like oh it was one pound so I got this lip kit and so here's the lip kit it's really really nice and it reminded me of the Kylie Jenner ones I think they've styled the packaging just like that so it's a bit of a copy there but you know it looks really good and I think hers is really overpriced so this is a matte lipstick and it is in the colour what colour is it can't find it but it's a nice pink colour you can see it oops now I have some nice sterling silver ones I wear hoops all the time I'm not wearing them today but I got these all for a pound probably really really bad for your ears but look at all the shapes and sizes and colours I just had to give them a whirl because my ears are not that bad and they can take cheap earrings so I'm excited to give these a little go they didn't seem to have a lot of Harry Potter stuff today they had some on sale and I think they're probably bringing in a new range or it's sold out over Christmas but I got some bits and bobs for a giveaway so I kind of flashed them up so I got key rings and rings and little bits and bobs and they will be given away very soon i also got this cleaner for my brushes very boring these harry potter cards which were down to just one pound fifty so that's wait they weren't down to one pound fifty they were down to 50p as you can see now the designs are not too christmasy so i thought i could probably use the actual cutouts like cut out of them or something and make something out of them um use them as birthday cards although they probably say merry christmas inside but they're really really cute i went for cloves so they had this dress it was in a size 14 so a bit bigger than i'd usually buy but it is button up and it has a tie fastening it's like a shirt dress and it was down from 13 pounds to five pounds so i had to get that and it fits really well and will look great for work now my only big pot of purchase of this trip was this now this is the bathroom set i've been looking for this for a while it was there when i went to london but i could not be bothered to carry it back on the train so they had like a few of these in primark today and i thought yeah 10 pounds i'm gonna have a go and get that so inside you get a soap dispenser so you can empty your soap into there if you buy like the carex bottles or whatever you buy um a cup i think that's a cup i'm not sure and then like a little dish which is for like your soap bars so I'm going to put my butter dish soap in there and it will all match it will look splendid and I'm going to get this out straight away after showing you all these items we then have another little Harry Potter bargain and this is a pajama set which I haven't seen before usually it is 12 pounds it's like a Christmas gift box but they have them down to five pounds today which is amazing now you get leggings and a top with all the cute little cartoon Harry Potter characters. And for that money, I just thought, yep, new set of pajamas, new year, perfect. And I like the black and white chrome design, I must say. Could this be more of a Hufflepuff Queen shirt? I don't actually think so. This was £10 and it's just kind of your standard, I'm going to say like silky shirt. I've got a few similar to this and I just love the design. It's perfect for my work wardrobe. I got this top. It has lots of jewels on it. And I did think to myself when I tried it on, those jewels are probably going to just fall off in the wash and things, which could be quite annoying. But hopefully not. It looks really pretty at the moment. This was £8. And it's very, very soft. Like, incredibly soft. Leopard print's back. I'm excited because five years ago, that was in. I had, like, some leopard print jeans. And I used to love wearing it all the time. And then nobody wore it anymore and I was really sad. And now it's everywhere again and I'm loving life. So here we have a very floaty leopard print dress. It's got like cute little sleeves on it. It looks much better on than it does here because it just looks like a massive material. But it's really pretty and yeah, I'm going to rock the leopard print now. So I bought some eyeshadow brushes and they're Real Techniques from Superdrug. I believe these were like £10, so kind of expensive. But I thought they would be quite perfect to do most of my makeup with. And I bought, I think this was one ninety nine from Superdrug, a tapered brush, which is perfect for the corners. And a liquid felt tip liner from Revolution. Last item, it's very boring, but not for me. And that is some black jeans from River Island, which were £35. Jeans annoy me so much. A lot of them keep going out of shape for me and not fitting me right. So I'm hoping, being River Island, they should be a bit better. And if anyone has good jean recommendations, do let me know, because I'm always up for hearing them. So that's it. That is quite a big haul that I did quite quickly for you guys. I hope you are having an amazing Christmas. I've got lots of New Year videos coming out. And soon, 
So I got for Christmas, so Instagram followers already know this, but I'll tell you my YouTube friends, that I got a bookshelf for Christmas, which is going to be set up as part of my new filming studio. So I will film in front of it and I'll be able to set up my collection behind me. It's gonna be perfect. So in the next few days, I'll be setting that up. I might do a video of me setting it up, I'm not sure. And then after that, I am then going to be filming my what I got for Christmas video. I've got some updates on boxes that I've had over the Christmas period, which I haven't unboxed on my channel. So there's lots to come, bookmark making video, lots, okay? So I hope you guys are looking forward to my new year of lots of cool videos. There's gonna be some amazing content. Give this video a big thumbs up if you do enjoy it. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this little haul slash vlog and also what type of videos you'd like to see in the new year. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to become part of my magical Potterpuff community and I will see you very soon. Bye!